All right, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that cannot be bothered to watch the entire video, this is it. This is the best point guard build um, that I have that I see for a 6'4 point guard. Uh, go ahead and give the video a like. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. And uh, for those of you guys that want me to explain the entire thing and, and, and give you all the particulars, just keep on watching. We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we go. Uh, one thing that I found out with with playing uh, point guard is, honestly, you don't need a shot more than 70. Your shot can be 70 and you'll be just fine. So uh, we're just going to go down the line. Shot close to 70, uh, 75. I think I just had some extra attribute points to put in there, and I just didn't want to... to um, I don't even know what to say. I guess I just didn't want to waste them or whatever. You know, they give you two more points to get to 96, so that's what I did. So, uh, shot close, 75, uh, 73, shot off dribble, whatever like that. Uh, layups and dunks. I left it here because the standing layup is 80 and the driving layup is 81. So, that was good enough for me. Uh, standing dunk, 60, driving dunk, 70, all that, you know, contact dunk, 65. So, I thought that was good enough. Uh, putting it up wasn't going to get me to another 5 or to another 0. You guys know my philosophy on that, so I left that there. Uh, left contested mid-range at 73. Um, that's the one I think I put up extra extra on or something like that. I know what it was. I wanted a shot close to be 75, so that's why I did what I did with that one. Um, Three-point shot, I left it at 70. I feel like I can green it at a high enough rate at uh, 70. And I don't miss too much from three anyway. I'm still shooting over almost 60% with a playmaker. Didn't touch post scoring. Somebody told me that it would make a difference to put agility up, and it did because with agility, my vertical is 90 and uh, speed is 91. So I feel like that's that in, is, that in and of itself was enough for me to do it. So you're just as fast with the ball as without it almost. Uh, strength, I left it at 55 because I felt like 55 was good enough. Rebounding, I maxed it out, so I got boxing out at 65, and uh, you know, 60, 64, offensive, 64, defensive, uh, playmaking. You know, I maxed that out, and defense, I maxed it out. Lateral quickness. Oh, so you only get four more lateral quickness, um, because my my six seven is 65 lateral quickness, so you only get four more lateral quickness. So that's about the same. So really, between the six four and the six seven, I do the six seven build tomorrow. I'm almost done with him. I got all the Hall of Fame stuff on him. Uh, really, the only thing that I felt like, I feel like most people are probably wasting points in. I feel like anything over 70 with this, you're wasting points with your mid-range. Just because of the fact you cannot miss mid-ranges in this game, I have a video proving it. You just can't miss mid-range. You have to be god-awful to miss mid-range, contested or not. You can't miss them. Uh, dunks and layups, like I said, I mean, those are good enough at, at around the 80s, the, the driving layup, but I mean, I'd rather, I'd rather use dunk animations to uh, get me over when I drive, and I'll let you know. I'll show y'all. I'll show you guys that in a second. And then, uh, you know, shot close, uh, off the dribble. Off the dribble is 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 just fine, which is crazy because I shoot better off the dribble than I do uh, than I do with the three point. Really, this is just a bailout. I I don't plan to shoot off the dribble. If I do shoot off the dribble, something is going horribly wrong, and it's just a complete mistake. And you know, I don't expect to make it anyway. So that's just a bailout right there. But um, going down here to the badges, obviously I got all the badges. Let's go right here and show you the badges that I have. Uh, we're just going to come into the court. Got all the hot spots, got all the badges. The biggest thing is you got to have your hot spots, man. If you don't have your hot spots, you're not looking to, to do too, too much. All right, so uh, I didn't get all these badges Hall of Fame. I've, obviously, you've seen I've played with him enough to have uh, Game Point, Iron Man, uh, Obviously, the shooting badges, catch and shoot corner specialist, deep range, dead eye, limitless range. Limitless range, I did a video on that, and you need limitless range because it helps with all jump shots. Um, mid range, dead eye, um, you know, all these are just gold. I, I didn't I didn't push them too hard. I was just trying to get him out there to the park because, I, you know, I don't dribble too much. I don't break too many angles. I don't do, do many of these things. I would like to get that to be the platinum diamond, but... Uh, that's another grind for another day. Break start, I feel like it's good because anybody can grab rebounds. But if you're going to throw the ball away, you're going to throw the ball away. It is what it is. Uh, charge card, I always get that. If y'all want a video on how to do charge card, let me know in the comments. I'll put that up tomorrow. Um, that's good for Pro-Am. And, like, if you got people just just like to sprint, sprint down low through the paint uh, on Pro-Am, 
that's how you stop them. You stop them with charge card, man. Uh, defensive stopper is a must. Uh, pick dodger is, is probably the most useless badge in the game because you really can't go around screens unless you understand how to use pick dodger. And even then, you're going to get brick walled by a screen that's two inches from you that, that defies all logic of inertia and all that. But, you know, all the laws of inertia. But whatever. We're not, we're not going to get into that. Uh, pick dodger, I'll tell you how guys how to use that if y'all want to know how to use that in another video. One man fast break. Gotta have that. And then obviously Alpha Dog Enforcer Microwave. All the emotional badges. This is what I got on court coach and uh spark plug. I am the plug. Um and uh as y'all can see, 6'4, 222 pounds. This is the guy that is me. Understand what I'm saying? So I'm like, he is this is me. 6'4, 222, um scrappy, not the greatest jumper, not the greatest handles, but uh I'm strong and I and I like to do that. And the way that I get away. With everything, uh, let me show you guys my signature styles and all of that. Uh, I, I know you guys really don't care because my dribbling is trash. And, uh, you know, I can't, I'm, I'm going to be trash at point guard, as y'all can see. ISO, Elite 6, normal. I mean, uh, behind the back, normal 4, spins. Uh, Swante say you can use that normal 2 and you can drop people with it, though. So you might want to do that. Uh, spins, Elite 6, Hesitation 1, Rhythm Dribble, normal 5. Uh, pretty much what everybody else got. Basic size up, normal three, because I like that step back. Uh, hesitation in and out, normal one. Crossover, I like this crossover, man. Not a lot of people use it. I saw, I saw Red City Boy, he started out the game using it, and I always loved it ever since. So uh, Chris Paul for my crossover, and Steph Curry between, is the behind the back and the between the legs. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what everybody else is using. My jump shot, obviously Paul George. I use Paul George on all of them. As soon as he turns the wrist over, let it go, and it's, and it's cash. I mean, it doesn't get too much easier than that. Elite uh, dribble pull up, Elite 11. Man, man, grind hard told me about that. And here are the, is the piece of resistance. This is how you get away with all the lower ratings and all of that. The unblockable dunks, man. You need these if you want to play point guard effectively. All right, so you got the under basket regular. So you don't, you don't want to do anything special going up. You just want to dunk it under the basket. Basic off two. That's the one where you, when you press forward on the stick, you know he's going to do. But I love these because he holds the ball out in front of him, and uh, you rarely get blocked. Uh, the only thing that might happen is you may just miss the dunk. You know how it is, how you mystery, mystery miss a dunk. Uh, basic one hand is off one. Rim graze is off one. And uh, the dunk that I made famous, I swear, man, I didn't see anybody doing this before I made all my videos on the unblockable dunks and all of that, man. But this is the dunk. That gets you out of so much trouble. Somebody trailing you, they're dead. You're dead to me. Because you can't block this dunk. The only way that dunk is getting blocked is if somebody's already waiting for you on the other side of the rim. If they are just dunking front sides, you have a much better chance. Uh layups. I usually do, I usually do um your boy, whatever his name is, uh what what was the size up everybody used last year? I can't even think of it. Uh let me see. It's on here. Jamal Crawford. That's what I used to use that. I don't use it anymore. I just use Curry, just, just float it up. I ran that ball up though, so if I'm using that, I'm really just trolling on that. And that's pretty much it, man. If you if you want to make a guy and you want to be right in the middle, you're not going to be the fastest guard. You're not going to be the slowest guard, but you will be able to play great defense. You'll be strong enough to get by people. Uh, you'll be able to block shots. You can do pretty much anything. You're going to dominate the smaller guards with this build, but you will also be fast enough to... To deal with, uh, you'll be fast enough to deal with the uh, smaller guards. And you'll be fast enough to go around the other guards. I know, I noticed one thing with that six uh, seven. He's a little bit slower, so you really gotta kind of know exactly what you're doing with with him. I wouldn't. I mean, would I would I recommend the six seven or the six four? Really, it's just gonna be up to you. If you want to be fast, use the six four. If you don't want to be fast, then um, you don't want to be fast. You want to be solid. Use the six seven, you know. I think this thing is on. Uh, it's on damn camera relative. I'm gonna be pissed off if it is. Nope, it's on absolute. I'm just trash. But uh, that that's that, man. And like the reason I show you one of the one of the moves that I use, one of the dribble moves that I use. Uh, the reason I use the Chris Paul because it's easier to go. It's easier to go from the Chris Paul to the momentum dribble. So you Chris Paul momentum dribble, and then you can do the behind the back that Luca told me. But uh, if y'all want lessons with Luca, well we um yeah there you go. It's, it's a lot easier to do that move to me. If I do that, so I set them up, and then I, then I do the behind the back. That's the only reason I do that. So, um, 
you'll get ankles a good percentage of the time if you can master this move. It's just just in and out, and then just you just go behind your back. Um, normal four is good. Normal two will probably put them on the ass. Honestly, just like Swante said. If y'all don't know who Swante is, man, you guys go talk to him. Another one with the Steph Curry, you can just Steph Curry and then momentum dribble and go behind the back or whatever. I mean, it's it's super easy. It's super cheesy. So it's just like, it just is what it is, man. I need it simple because I'm trash. And, uh, you know, it just is what it is. So if you guys want more, uh, if you want to see that 6-7 bill, let me know. But other than that, man, I'm gone, man. You guys take it easy. I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! I'm going to get this stuff curry before I go, man. Uh, 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 uh. There it is right there. That'll put him on the ass right there, boy. I'm telling you. I'm gone. Peace.